Okay, I'm gonna walk you through this. This is how I run my trailers with bees on them. 16 foot trailer, a little over six feet wide. I can easily put 20 hives on the trailer. Uh, what I've done is, it is essentially, uh, really it's two bottom boards. They're eight feet long, 21 inches wide. Uh, so we have two hives together. Here's our entrance. I'm gonna close those down, uh, but not right now. And that's a six inch gap between the two, so I could put an eye bolt and ratchet the two hives together. That is a four inch gap. And what I'll do here, there'll be eye bolt there. The hooks will attach here and the actual buckle will be here at the six inch point because this gives me enough room to, to tighten them up. So four inches, two hives, four inches, two hives, six inches, same thing, right? You have a little bit left over here, but this is where we'll put our eye bolt and secure it down. This is what it looks like. Pardon the mess in the middle. I uh, see inch and a half. That's what the outside of the hive sits on. Two and a half. U-clips. They are centered at one and one quarter inches. They're set back three quarters of an inch from the front and from the back. This keeps your boxes from shaking back and forth. And when, when you have two hives on it, it will keep them from shaking side to side. Um, I went ahead and did about a half inch hole all the way through. Just in case we get water in here, it'll be able to drain. The hives will all face out, right? I'm thinking about a two inch entrance should be good enough. Now, when I get to the four hives that face the fender well, what I'll do is I will point them in. I don't like it, but it's kind of the best option that I have for right now. Uh, the way that I did this one, here's my joint where the two uh, sheets of plywood connect. So it's a two and a half inch board and the, uh, the, with the U-clips and the hives will both set on it. If there is any shifting or shaking or whatnot, it won't really affect anything because this would be the outside of, of two separate hives. So, but same thing, same exact setup. And a clever fellow would either uh, come up with a way to mount hives in the middle that could be loaded or unloaded. But honestly, what I like to do is I use this area to store and transport empty supers. Do not transport hives with full supers. Uh, they'll shift, they'll wiggle, and it's it's uh, just a bloody nightmare. Um, I've been transporting bees on trailers for a few years, and I've been doing it on individual bottom boards. Each hive had its own individual bottom board, and even with screwing the the bottom boards to the deck of the trailer, the hives would still walk on me. I was not using any U clips, but I did have a stop in the front for my entrance reducer. It was a about a quarter of an inch taller than the rest that the, the boxes sit on. So the hives wouldn't go forward, but they would slide backwards or they would shift sideways. Uh, I'm hoping that and anticipating that with these U clips that will stop all my hive movement. Unless, of course, you're three or four boxes tall and you have honey on top. Uh, oh, this material is plywood. It is a three-quarter inch HDO. I uh, purchased it from Mid-South Lumber. They have a distributor in Grand Prairie, Texas. It is $60 a sheet. It is supposed to last 10 years without any treatment to it. Uh, if you cut it, they do suggest that you paint the cut. And that's what I did back here i did some primer and some paint i figure i'm spending 60 bucks a sheet i might as well make it uh last as long as i can anyway oh and here this space i went three quarters of an inch probably closer to an inch really uh, the plywood up against the rail here because my hive tops I wanted to have enough room to 
take the lids off and on without them butting up against the, the rail. Nope, I hope that helps. Later.